This is Big Island Video News for Friday, May 26th, 2023. There is a 50% chance of above-normal tropical cyclone activity this year during the Central Pacific hurricane season, as the El Nino warming pattern is expected to develop in the Pacific Ocean. NOAA's Central Pacific Hurricane Center and Climate Prediction Center presented the outlook to local media on Thursday. We're looking at El Nino conditions developing across the Pacific um, this season, this, this hurricane season. You can see that it's already getting warmer across the equator, and um, that condition is expected to continue. We see a lot of consensus in the modeling that show us pretty rapidly heading towards El Nino conditions. So typically El Nino conditions are correlated with a, a higher than uh, average um, tropical cyclone activity in the Central Pacific. And this is a big factor in, in our season outlook for 2023. So if we look at the, uh, the outlook numbers, um, we announced that uh, this season we expect near to above normal uh, tropical cyclone activity across the Central Pacific. Um, we do expect, uh, the outlook is for four to seven tropical cyclones. That includes tropical depressions, tropical storms, and hurricanes uh, across the Central Pacific area at large. Um, we do not predict in that outlook how many systems will directly impact the state of Hawaii, the islands. Also in the summer forecast, below average rainfall. Severe drought is possible, especially along the leeward areas of Hawaii Island through the dry season, which runs from May through September. Thanks, Sean. Good morning, everybody. During the onset of El Nino, you're expecting your dry, our dry season to have above average rainfall, but this year's different. And it's, it's not unprecedented. It's happened before, most recently back in 2009, where we ended up with uh, actually the, the ninth driest dry season in 30 years, even though that was the onset summer for an El Nino. So what we're looking at is um, drought to develop uh, at some point during the summer and then progressively get worse throughout, throughout the summer so that by the end of the dry season, I'm uh, fully expecting we're going to have some areas with severe and possibly extreme drought again, especially in the leeward areas of the Big Island and Maui County. Um, unfortunately, what that also means with El Nino in place is that that dryness, that drought, is probably going to extend through the wet season, the next wet season, and into the next dry season. So um, if 2009, 2010 is an analog, that was one of our worst droughts that we've had in the last 30, 50 years. So uh, not looking good in terms of, of rainfall. Impacts, uh, it's probably going to be uh, it's going to be worse for the non-irrigated agricultural community. So your ranch, your livestock, uh, uh, your ranch lands, forage, that's going to be impacted uh, the most and also the fastest. And also water systems dependent on stream water, stream water diversions, especially, for instance, upcountry Maui, West Maui, those areas depend a lot on, on uh, stream diversions. Um, and then residents that rely on water catchment systems. A lot of those are in the Puna district, for instance, on the Big Island, they're, uh, they're gonna be impacted. You know, they can, you have any significant amount of dryness, lack of rain, or even reduced amount uh, below normal rainfall, and they're gonna uh, have shortages. Um, from, as far as the, from the wildfire uh, perspective, uh, we're looking at, um, because of the, the wet conditions that we had during this wet season, we're looking for a, a bit of a later start to the fire season, but that's going to rapidly build in as the summer dryness uh, occurs. So instead of the, the normal uh, late July to early August time frame for what we call red flag uh, threshold, it might be a bit later than that. But still, uh, we're, we're expecting you know a wildfire season with all the fuels that we have that, that were built up during this wet season.